It's full speed ahead with excavation of Supercell 10 at the Environmental Restoration Disposal Facility. Tradewind Services and Delher Industries are in the early stages of removing an estimated 1.7 million cubic yards of soil to create Supercell 10. Excavation activities began February 10th with the removal of surface vegetation and removal of a thin layer of fine wind deposited dust, also known as Aeolian soil. A crew of 20 craftsmen is now forming the north, south, and east embankments of the supercell. Supercell 10 will measure 70 feet deep, 500 feet wide, and 1,000 feet long at the base, large enough to hold about 2.8 million tons of contaminated material. The equipment being used to excavate the supercell includes three excavators, three bulldozers, five 50-ton pay haulers, four 70-ton pay haulers, and three water trucks. A recently purchased excavator with a 13 cubic yard bucket will also be in service next week. Excavation of Supercell 10 is scheduled to be completed in August. In April, Tradewind and Del Hur will begin construction of the liner and leachate collection system for Supercells 9 and 10.